Fine bean. Hi, Brian. Hey, Hi, Brian. what's going on? Uh, we we had to meet you somewhere in the open because something not good is happening, and Lang wanted us to speak to you about it. It's about the tanker. Uh, maybe. Maybe related. It's about Pred. Oh. Okay. So, so which one of his issues? <laughs> well, okay. he he doesn't like me and Eve very publicly. Um, he mm -hmm. has he has gone on record on LSBN saying fuck Nancy Drew and Eve Summers. Um, it's in a news article multiple times saying that he wishes Cerberus mm. was all dead, etc. He what? yeah, actually. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like um, uh, when the uh, CPD fell apart. Yeah, if you look at CPD from a month ago, Pred announces end of CPD. The second image is a tweet of his. Oh, I'm not sure where it's gone, but a tweet of his saying, fuck Nancy Drew and Eve Summers. Uh, Nancy Drew and Eve Summers are shit. Uh, fuck Cerberus, I wish they were dead. Um, Nancy Drew and Eve Summers are incompetent, unfit to do their jobs, uh, etc. So anyways, he's had an issue with us for a little while, right? Um, mm. he shows up to our meeting today, our Cerberus meeting, and he stands outside and he starts taking pictures through the glass, um, which was obviously very uncomfortable. And he was in some sort of disguise. So we didn't recognize him until we went and spoke to him. Uh, uh. like bald head wearing a tank top and stuff. Huh. So he then, said he was cosplaying Eddie Marshall. But... Yeah. So then he pulls out his PD camera, is like sticking it through the glass, taking photos of all of us in our meeting. Then the tanker thing happened underneath the service business center. And mm -hmm. Pred was there. As he is leaving, he talks to the two of us about some stuff. Um, he doesn't like being told no. And unfortunately, we're in the position where we have to tell him no quite a bit. Um, so mm. he, he then said... Uh, you know, we were pleasant to him. He was asking how we were, and we're like, yeah, no, we're great. How are you? And as we were leaving, he's like, I want a megaphone. He's blacklisted for megaphones because he's too loud. Then he said, I'm watching you, Eve, and I'm watching you too, Nancy. And then he drove off. Uh, that I... is odd. Oh, oh okay. it, gets, it gets worse, Brian. Um, oh, no. Then uh, we went to get bomb detectors um from an officer so he took us to mrpd i saw pred leaving mm -hmm. by the side door which is fine and then as i went back to cbc to get my car um i was across the street and i see pred in a rented bison wearing his same disguise outfit because he's wearing his like gun holster on his shoulders runs into the front of the cbc does something inside and then exits in his rented bison so I don't know if he's placed some sort of surveillance inside or if All right, let's go. Uh do you guys have any disguises? Uh yeah, I could disguise yes. myself. All right. So here's what we're going to do cuz uh if he did anything like that, um I don't want it to I want to document it. I'm going to go off duty. Uh, I already we'll be disguised. And, yeah, oh. I ran into the building already and did a cursory look because I was like, mm -hmm. this seems really fucking fishy, but I couldn't see anything on first glance. And then I didn't want to make any phone calls while I was in there in case there were like mics or anything. So I ended up leaving and calling even Lang. And then Lang was like, please go talk to Pred or B Knight about Pred. Yeah, look, um, I, I'm not surprised. Uh, I mean, look, your description of him is pretty accurate. He's self-centered. Uh, <laughs> he only cares about himself and every single failure of his own is someone else's fault yeah so Very i mean hmm. look i had to deal with that recently i went from his best friend to uh well everything negative under the sun because this dumbass doesn't realize he can't remove bass over some bullshit case after i don't know it, it's a whole thing yeah so he's, he's I, I also get it. like called eve and i like secretaries before like lang's little secretaries or whatever even though we're vice presidents of the company etc cetera, etc cetera. 
Oh, okay. Well, um. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're okay, uh, Brian. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Uh, I don't know why there's so much corruption. Yeah, that's crazy, huh? Yeah. I'm going to be real. I, I, I find myself looking into cops more than anyone else nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, it's almost like Pred, you know, ocean dumped an EMS and murdered a woman and his uh, trooper. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're talking about Kiki Pendragon? Yeah, remember yeah. when cops weren't corrupt? That was a nice time. I liked that. When I could actually yeah. trust the PD to not kill me or stalk me or send disagree. people to kill me and stalk me. That was a, a simpler time. The The funny thing <laughs> is, is uh, <laughs> at least that's something that, I don't know. I Oh, my God. Look, I've done some fucked up shit in the past, but there was a certain point where I'm like, bro, this elephant way too big. Yeah, agreed. I, it, it, it's uh, it, it's every couple of days. Mm -hmm. It's every couple of days. Yeah. Um. All right. So did Fred uh, also burn down Viceroy? <laughs> How do you know about that? Bro, please. The city if talks. You, I, if was... you actually have any evidence of it, I, I'd actually really want to know. I don't think I have evidence, but I had multiple people tell me. So, oh, I think Bundy told me. That was after like multiple other people told him or told me rather. So it came up in conversation. Mm hmm. I haven't told anybody except you and well now Eve. So. Hey, Eve, did you know uh, Pred burnt down Viceroy? I actually did not, but, you know, him being a arsonist uh, makes sense. Yep. Oh, my Didn't God. Didn't somebody die in that fire? Yeah, Dr. Nancy died in that fire. No, another doctor also oh, died. Oh, yeah, that other doctor died in that fire, too. It, it was more than... Yeah, no, there was a couple. Yeah. I think there was, like, oh. four. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, well... That's, uh... That's our trooper, everybody. But you know what? Bass is minus 1,000 speech, so better try to get him witness tampering and get rid of him. Right. That, that's what he's trying to do right now. Get rid Which of Which is the thing that fucking... Oh, he's been trying to go after Bass for, like, a better part of two years. Wait, Pred is uh, going after Bass? Yeah, they got this whole, like, fucking thing where... They, uh, I can't even go into the details about it. It was literally the stupidest most negligent thing transpired last week um where multiple lives were in danger and he just i don't know fucking scooped up bass brian i mean this in the most respectful way possible but genuinely how the fuck does the pd function i still come on chase. duty they ping chase. I had, a lot of them do. Yeah. I had a cop hit me head on at 120 miles an hour the other day. Didn't even stop because he was in a chase. Uh, Injured me. Had to go to the hospital. Head on collision directly into me. Didn't even stop. I to, Well, what I'll say is that there's still enough good officers within the department that have some semblance of common sense. And like ability to like think beyond an elementary level that you know things still move forward. I mean, there's days where there's headaches, but I was uh, on foot, Brian. I wasn't even in a car. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. You know, back <laughs> in the day, you do something like that, you get sued to the fucking ground. Yep, yeah, but I don't know who it was. So. Oh no. Okay. Um. <laughs> I do. I, I do believe in uh, the plan that Suzanne Bass got in place. So it'll probably oh, have, take a while, but have a plan. Yeah, then they got a plan. They got a plan, but it's like all other things, right? It's kind of one of those. Uh, the reality of the matter is this, right? There's um, <laughs> this is fun. 
<laughs> rebuilding something up, especially something as complex as a police department, can take some time. It's not to say that their plan may work foolproof, but I, I do think I'm starting to see some signs of life of it. I, but... I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Dismantle all of the departments. Fire everybody. Come together as a unified force. And so oh, wait. Yeah, you, so I was <laughs> spitballing an idea that I do think is bad enough that it'd be interesting to get like five very capable <laughs> and dedicated officers to start a department for what would be the future like three months from now. Um, and you almost need to start from the ground up. The thing is you can't dismantle <laughs> what's existing because then it'd be too much chaos. But you need something completely confined off on the side to like slowly build up. Right. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyways, um, well, Fred. I am going to look into this. Um, I do want to take a look at what he might have done over at Cerberus. I want to, sure. I'm going to go off duty. We'll like, you know, go UC. Okay. Um, I'll document it and I'm going to run it through Bass because there is the off chance that he's authorized to do this, but equally possible that he's doing some vigilante shit. Yeah. I wanted to take pictures of him, um, getting into the car and stuff, but I was trying to hide so he didn't see me. So I didn't have an opportunity to do so, but it was definitely him in a, in a black bison. He parked right in front of CBC, ran in the main doors, was probably in there for like less than a minute and then ran back out. And that's when I uh, called Eve and told her about it. How much do you know about this whole clown situation? Uh, Nothing. I know the clowns, but what do you mean? I know the Clowns are vandalizing the Queen Mana every single day. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I know that. Yeah. And the yeah, actually, there was. I should have called the cops the other day, but there was like blood all over like the backyard, and the pool was filled with blood. And mm. I think I was so tired oh. over the weekend, I just didn't pay attention to it. I took pictures of that, and then there was a note on the ground that said, "Like, hello, Mr. Mayor," and then a clown face next to all the blood and a smiley face drawn oh, in yeah. blood no. on the ground. Yeah, the the clowns. Yeah, every other day you go to the manor. There's they check if the doors are open so they can poop everywhere, and then. Uh, if not, they just leave creepy messages all over the house. Yeah. Obviously, I have to, I have to be a little reserved about why I'm asking these questions. Um, yeah, it's fine. I, I'm not Winston Walker. Put it that way. Oh. Uh, there's certain <laughs> details that you know we cannot love disseminate. That for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that for you that you're not like Winston Walker. Love that. I mean, the thing is, right? Like at, at the this end of the so day, spicy. like. Um, <laughs> Uh, the thing that I try to explain to folks is like, it's not that people aren't trusted to know that information. It might help them, you know, stay alive or whatever, but and not everyone's going to know the value of that secrecy. And uh, I don't know. I'm sure you guys understand being all in the corporate world and whatnot. Yeah. Which is why when someone is trying to potentially sneak in and put up cameras or microphones and stuff, or taking photos of us in our meeting. It's uh, a little concerning. Yeah. Um. So I'm trying to think about from like okay, uh, let's uh, let's go check them out before they uh, okay yeah 